what is ozone it's a molecule consisting of three oxygen atoms option b ozone o3 is a molecule made up of three oxygen atoms where is the majority of earth's ozone located in a stratosphere option b about 90% of the ozone in the earth's atmosphere is found in the stratosphere which is a layer of the atmosphere that begins about 10 to 16 kilometers above the earth's surface and extends up to about 50 kilometers altitude the region of the stratosphere with the highest concentration of ozone is known as the ozone layer what is the primary function of the ozone layer to protect against ultraviolet radiation option b the ozone layer absorbs most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation protecting life on earth which of the following is a major cause of ozone depletion chlorofluorocarbons cfc's option c CFCs release chlorine atoms when broken down by UV light which then deplete oxygen in the stratosphere. What is the ozone hole? It's a significant thinning of the ozone layer option B. The ozone hole refers to a significant thinning of the ozone layer particularly over Antarctica. Which international agreement was established to reduce ozone depleting substances? Montreal Protocol option C. It was signed to phase out the production and consumption of ozone depleting substances. Which type of radiation is primarily absorbed by the ozone in the stratosphere? Ultraviolet radiation option C. Ozone absorbs the majority of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. Which of the following chemicals does not contribute to ozone depletion? Hydrofluorocarbons (HFCs) option B. HFCs do not deplete ozone but are potent greenhouse gases. CFCs, halons and methyl bromide contribute to ozone depletion. What is ground level ozone commonly considered as bad ozone option D ground level ozone also known as tropospheric ozone is considered bad ozone because it's an air pollutant it's created when pollutants from cars power plants and other sources react in sunlight and stagnant air Which of the following health issues is associated with high levels of ground level ozone? Respiratory problems option B. High levels of ground level ozone can cause respiratory issues including asthma and reduced lung function. Which of the following contributes to the formation of ground level ozone? nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds option b ground level ozone forms when nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds react in the presence of sunlight what is the main consequence of ozone depletion for living organisms higher exposure to ultraviolet radiation option a Ozone depletion leads to higher levels of ultraviolet radiation reaching the earth's surface which can harm living organisms. How does ultraviolet radiation affect human health? It causes skin aging and cancer option C. Excessive exposure to UV radiation can lead to skin aging, sunburn and an increased risk of skin cancer. Which of the following human activities is a significant source of ozone depleting substances? Using refrigeration and air conditioning systems option D. Refrigeration and air conditioning systems historically used CFCs and other ozone depletion substances. What is the process by which ozone is naturally formed in the stratosphere? option a photo dissociation of oxygen molecules 
ozone is formed when ultraviolet light breaks down oxygen molecules o2 into individual oxygen atoms o which then bond with other oxygen molecules to form ozone that is o3 which of the following is an effect of increased uv radiation on ecosystems decreased fish population option b increased uv radiation can harm aquatic ecosystems reducing fish populations and affecting the food chain which of these is a natural source of ozone in the lower atmosphere all of the above option d natural sources like lightning forest fires and volcanic eruptions can produce ozone in the lower atmosphere which year was the montreal protocol signed in 1987 option c which country was the first to ban cfcs in aerosol sprays united states option a the united states was the first country to ban the use of cfcs in the aerosol sprays in 1978 Which of the following gases contributes to both ozone depletion and global warming? Nitrous oxide and two option A. Nitrous oxide is a potent greenhouse gas and also contributes to the depletion of the ozone layer. Which organization monitors global ozone levels? World Meteorological Organization (WMO) option C. The WMO monitors global ozone levels and provides data on the status of the ozone layer. What is the main objective of the Kyoto Protocol? Reducing greenhouse gas emissions option B. The Kyoto Protocol aims to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to combat climate change. Which year was the Paris Agreement adopted? In year 2015 option C. The Paris Agreement adopted in 2015 aims to limit global warming to well below 2 degree above pre-industrial levels. Which protocol is an amendment to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change (UNFCCC)? Kyoto Protocol Option D. The Kyoto Protocol was an international treaty which extended the 1992 United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change that commits state parties to reduce greenhouse gas emissions based on the scientific consensus that global warming is occurring and that human made CO2 emissions are driving it the Kyoto protocol was adopted in Kyoto of Japan on 11 December 1997 and entered into force on 16 february 2005 what is the main focus of the basel convention hazardous waste management option b the basel convention aims to control the transboundary movement of hazardous wastes and their disposal which protocol aims to control the trade of hazardous chemicals and pesticides Rotterdam Convention option C This convention aims to promote shared responsibility in the international trade of hazardous chemicals and pesticides What is the primary goal of the Stockholm Convention Eliminating persistent organic pollutants option A This convention seeks to eliminate or restrict the production and use of persistent organic pollutants Which protocol aims to prevent ships from polluting the marine environment by discharging waste at sea? Marpol Protocol option B. What is the main goal of the Ramsar Convention? Conservation of wetlands option D. The Ramsar Convention focuses on conservation and wise use of wetlands through international cooperation. Which international treaty addresses climate change mitigation by promoting renewable energy and energy efficiency? Energy Charter Treaty Option D. This treaty promotes energy cooperation including the development of renewable energy 
and energy efficiency. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.